Well, the country's uh, oldest power, uh, private power producer, Tata Power, says there's not much opportunities for it that's coming up in India. In fact, 70% of the company's current project execution is uh, is in markets that's outside India. Uh, what to, to uh, take you through what is expected to come on stream in the near future is one of their Georgia projects, which is expected to be commissioned in early 2017. There's another uh, wind power project in South Africa, which uh, uh, in which Tata Power would be investing close to 110 million dollars. That is expected to come on stream in 2016. So clearly, uh, Tata Power seems to be focusing on overseas markets, while India uh, still seems uh, to, still does not have much opportunities to offer to the uh, uh, to the power company. In fact, in Indonesia, they've also uh, entered into an agreement to sell a partial stake in one of their mines there. Uh, what the company has to say is they're, they're not looking to uh, exit the coal business, so they will not really look to uh, sell out from the remaining mines in Indonesia. So that's one bit to look out for. In India, Mundra remains a concern for the company where it says uh, uh, thanks to the uh, uh, reduction in coal prices, losses have come down, but it remains a concern given they're still awaiting a final order from CRC. Once that final order of a co compensatory tariff comes in from uh, from Aptil where the case is now being heard, uh, the company uh, ex is expected to look at various options of uh, refinancing or restructuring the, uh, the debt on Mundra's books, which could also include a 525 uh, restructuring, which is the new policy policy that RBI has introduced. However, uh, analysts say it is important for Tata Power to have a clarity as early as possible on Mundra to ensure that the company does not go through further financial stress.